Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday. This is Maundy Thursday, traditionally on the church calendar. It's the day in which we remember the mandate that Jesus gave at the Last Supper, which is to love one another the way that I've loved you. Such a powerful thing, and every time I read it, it just grabs me fresh because I there's probably no place in my Christian walk where I fail to reach the goal as often as in that one, to truly love myself and others like Jesus loves me and others is just an amazing thing. I will say this, though, by God's grace, I'm getting better at it. Uh, the Holy Spirit had a job on his hands when he started to get the gift of love stirred up in me and begin to see it grow. But it has grown and it's beginning to bear fruit. So I praise him for that. I really do. But today, as I was reading in Mark 16, or Mark 15, I hadn't even planned on coming on today, but this just grabbed me so, so strongly. I was reading about Jesus being laid in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea, and the description of the, of the tomb, I was reading out of the Passion Translation, the description of the tomb was that it was hewn out of solid rock, and there was a little footnote that kind of described that. And as I read that, suddenly the Holy Spirit just whispered into my heart, there's honey in the rock. Now, that's kind of an obscure Old Testament reference. And uh, there was an old song. Some of you may remember this if you're my age or older. There was an old song that was sung occasionally as a congregational hymn when I was a kid called Honey in the Rock. But it comes out of a couple of Old Testament passages where specifically Deuteronomy 32, where God is telling his, his people, he said, um, I would have taken, I did take care of you so well, and I would have taken care of you forever if you would have just stayed faithful to me. And he talks about the things he did for them and the things he was willing to do for them. And one of those is, he said, I would have fed them with honey from a rock. And the Lord just spoke that to me. I went back and reread that passage. And also there's one in Psalms that mentions that and began to think about how all through the Old Testament, there's this image of Jesus as our rock and the rock of our salvation. But especially that thing, honey in the rock. And the Lord just began to, to talk to my heart today. There are things right now in your lives which like a sepulcher hewn out of solid rock, they seem to have nothing good in them. Nothing. There's nothing in these places of your life but death, hopelessness, uh, ruin, lost dreams, um, uh, the, the effect of your sin. I think that's so important because Jesus was in that tomb because of, of my sin, your sin. And sometimes we look at places in our lives where the effect of our sins over times just seems to have, have buried anything possible by way of good and redemption. There's nothing sweet there, in other words. And yet, again, just this morning, the Holy Spirit said, Jesus came out of that rock in a place where there was no life, no hope, nothing good, uh, nothing but stench and decay normally is all you would ever expect to find there. But in this rock, there was honey, there was life, there was sweetness, there was new hope, there was restoration, all of these things. And Jesus is our honey in the rock, if that makes any sense to you. But more important than, than just the metaphor was just that that sense of, Jim, you got to just share that with everybody. I know we all hear this all during the season. That's so awesome that we do. But it's just in a fresh way. Wherever that place is in your life where nothing good can come out of it, Jesus can come out of it. Jesus can come out of it. Jesus can bring sweetness out of bitterness he can bring life out of death. He can bring sustenance and uh, rejuvenation out of what seems to be only a place of death and decay. He can do it. And so I just invite you to do what I'm doing this morning, and that is I'm taking some time to pray through some places that look like sepulchers, and I'm asking Jesus to bring honey out of those rocks for his glory. And I'm expecting it. I really am. If I don't get a chance to talk to you again, I sure am looking forward to sharing Friday evening with you. Wow. We just have such a great time in store, and I cannot wait to honor Jesus with you. Be blessed, everybody.